when it's just you. Well, times can be tough. Hello, hello, hello. It's Chris again with Multi Tank Addiction. Back again on another video for you where we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a pretty good day today myself. I wanted to bring you guys another video where we get to open some boxes. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I did get some stuff taken care of. The plywood tank is set up but it's not holding water. So if you didn't watch that video, there is a link up here in the corner uh, to check out the Project Plywood Tank update uh, for January. I'm going to have another one, of course, once I, once I resolve that issue, but let's not get into that right now. What I want to get into right now is some unboxings for you guys. Now this is this is stuff that's going to go in the plywood tank, of course. So I wanted to go ahead and just start it off with the first thing that I got, which was about a week ago, and that would be the Ink Bird. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so this one I've already opened the box because I was super excited. But the next, the first thing up is the Ink Bird. This is. I can't remember the model number. I believe it's a 305 or 308 B. And there's really nothing to the box, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. But this is a thermometer controller. Or a temperature controller. It's a heater controller, really. Um, and this model in particular wasn't really geared towards freshwater aquariums so much. It is geared more towards saltwater aquariums because it does have a feature that is kind of unique that's necessary for saltwater. And that, we got a heater right here, and then this one's cooling. So if your tank gets too warm, you can you can you can have your cooler on there to cool it down. So this is a di digital temperature control. So you don't really have to rely on the heaters. To do their job. This is the, uh, the temperature probe and what it'll do is it'll tell me the temperature right here of the actual space and then this is the temperature that I want it to be at. So this is something I've never had before and I'm super excited about this. I'm going to be right on the front of the 500 gallon aquarium so that I'll be able to see the temperature from across the room. Not only in the tank but what it's going to be. So that's not item number one. And somewhat related is item number two. Also, I got a little bit overzealous and I opened the box again. But don't worry, the next one I haven't opened. So there's two of these in here. And this was from Amazon.com. Uh, I will put a link in the description for, for both of these items. Actually put a link in the description for all of the items so this it's a rather long let's see here measure it on my little table table thing here and it is uh, it's so long that my vision is blurred it's 19 and a half inches long the box is and the item would be the heaters. These, this is going to be my heater for the 522 gallon aquarium. So, give you guys an idea. If I put this, the top of the, the little sensor right here the, on the left hand side is right lined up and this will need 19 inches of clearance. These heaters are special in the sense that it's hard to find a 500 watt heater on the interwebs. But I managed to find, and this is the great thing about it, is I, I managed to find um, two 500 watts for like $34, $32 to $36, depending upon where they're at right now on the pricing but 
There's two of these in the box. Comes with suction cups, which I don't know if I'm going to even need them because, frankly, uh, it's going into a plywood aquarium. <laughs> so, two heaters ready to go. All I have to do is get the tank to hold water. And to get the tank to hold water, it's my next item. I'm going to back this off just a little bit, tilt the camera up. You guys are going to see my. You guys will be able to see my my desktop on my computer. Uh, of course, my desktop on my computer is Tiger and Old Red. But that's not the important part. So let's say normally I'm all about using my, my CRKT doing that for just about anything opening a box. But I'm going to go with the good old reliable steak knife. To open this up and this I've been looking forward to this all week because the plywood tank leaked on oh gosh was it Saturday or something but I ordered this off of homedepot.com and it was uh, $67, I believe, with shipping and everything. It was free shipping, but taxes and everything, because they live in Washington State. And this would be Pond Shield. And yes, we were sponsored with the plywood tank for, by Pond Shield, and uh, they, the company, excellent company. Uh, they sent me four of these kits, but four was not enough because it leaked. And so I got one more kit, and this kit is I'm gonna pull it out of the box because I've got tons of these boxes already. Uh, this kit is a can. So I'm going to use it to seal up the tank the rest of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Not COVID. I'll be fine. Anyways, so I got another quart and a half of pond shields that we're going to use on fiber tank. And I bought a brush today, a paint brush, not a roller, because I think part of the reason why it wasn't thick enough was that I was using a roller, and it wasn't an epoxy roller, it was just a regular paint roller, and I just don't think that it, it laid a thick enough layer. So, so that is our unboxing. We've got the Ink Bird with a temperature probe. It's got a five foot cord on that temperature probe, by the way. We've got the thermometer, that Inkbird thermometer, and then we've got two of these 500 watt heaters. So I'll have a thousand watts of heating power for this 500 gallon aquarium. Give you guys an idea, okay? On the 300 gallon glass aquarium that I had that I actually made this tank out of, I used the glass from the 300 gallon. Um, I used two 300 watt heaters to heat that tank and I was able to hold it at 82 degrees without any issue in a garage during the winter time no problem so I am certain that these two 500 watt heaters will do more than enough to keep this tank heated nice and toasty so all right, so with that being said, this is the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There are links in the description down below. And don't forget, if you're interested in seeing what happened or hearing about what happened with the plywood tank and its leaking issue, uh, I'm thinking that it was because it was just a trickle. But if you want to watch the video on that, there will be a link, like I said, in the corner right, right up here uh, for that. And uh, you can check that out. It's about a 15 minute video. It's, it was me finishing up the tank for the water test. 
and that's when we found out, you know, we, we filled up about half the tank, and then it started to leak a little bit, so, uh, anyways, uh, greatly appreciate you guys watching this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're not already, so that you will be notified when we put out another video, and just remember guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye now.